What's up folks, my name is Felix. Welcome back to a new video where we are going to talk about several projects which I wanted to give you updates for. But first we want to talk about USDT land. I released a video about this around 10 hours ago, but took it immediately down. This is a fork of last land and I thought the code would be safe because they did an audit with Encrypto security. And as you can see here, the audit summary says by finally checking and manual code reading the content or the team here in this case found no malicious content backdoors or scam scripts. But once I released this video, a community member got aware and sent me over a message that he found a backdoor in this contract. And that's why I immediately took down the video before the project even launched. And I also let you guys know here in a short post on my YouTube channel, as well as in our community Telegram group, that there is malicious code in it and they will probably rug pull it. The owner said, well, the developer built that in and it's not their fault. So the same excuses as we hear all the time in such kind of projects. For example, also Dabsite posted it that there is a backdoor in the contract that they can claim the full amount of USDT in the smart contract. They just want to make you aware of it. It was a fork of last land straight fork, but they changed one simple function to get access to what's in the contract balance. And that's why I can highly recommend to stay away from this project, even if they launch with another smart contract. So let's get right into the projects I wanted to talk about in this video and want to give you updates for the first one will be Pulse Farm. This will have its pre-sale on the 14th. We can see that here in the pre-sale details announcement. For example, if you manage to get on the whitelist, so if you had a spot here on the registration form, I, for example, managed to get on there. There were just spots for 160 people. Once that amount was reached, the registration form went offline. And now again, they did their announcement for the pre-sale which will have a hard cap of 2.5 billion pulse token which is equal to currently i would say around 170 to 180 000 us dollars the max cap per wallet is at 16 million pulse token this is also shortly above 1000 us dollars and the minimum is at 1.6 million all that for example managed to get on a influencer whitelist will have a 30 minute window in advance where they can purchase token then it opens up for the registration whitelist for 60 minutes and if it's still not sold out it will open up to the public at 6 30 pm utc again at the 14th of november here you can again see all the data maximum minimum and there will be one lucky winner who gets a max allocation wallet this will be displayed right on the dab over here so if you get over here and the pre-sale is live this will be displayed that you won that max allocation. Next up, we want to talk about the shitcoin miner Polygon land. You can see the current stats over here. The total balance went down, but they already managed to pay out over 200k in Matic. And they will have an AMA in the shitcoin miner Telegram on Monday, where they, for example, speak about the Polygon land strategy. Then they will talk about Arbitrum land, which will be the next project on their roadmap, which will launch probably in December or January. You can also see that here on their roadmap. First, they will have the lucky shit raffle alpha launch and then Arbitrum land is the next thing on their roadmap. And not only that, no, they will also release the monthly report. And on the 15th of November, there will be the second airdrop to all NFT holders. So you can still qualify for this airdrop if you mint one of their NFTs, which have massive utility in the whole ecosystem. For example, you get early access in all of their projects. You get these monthly airdrops. You get access to their DGN DeFi wallet and way more. You can see all that over here if you jump to NFT holder benefits where all the advantages are listed. And how you can purchase one of those NFTs, you just come over to this page. This is on the Polygon network. You need wrapped Ethereum point one of that and then you can just purchase one of their so-called poop NFTs which gives you those benefits. Just that you are aware, so Polygon land still ongoing, still paying out. Of course, the yield went down. They started with initially 3.5%. Currently, I think they are rewarding between one and 3%. This of course completely depends on the balance, which is in the contract balance. If the contract balance goes up, they can distribute more to all the investors. If the contract balance goes down, it will also go down. 
Next up on today's list is Alpha365, the project literally no one is talking about but might be talking about in the near future because they have some leaks in their Telegram group as well as their NFT sale is already ongoing. But first we want to talk about my statistics. I currently have a vault balance of roughly 810 Alpha token. The Alpha token is currently still sitting at roughly 5 US dollars and this is earning me 1.5% every single day. The thing I'm doing here is compounding two days and on the third day I'm always taking my profits and swapping it into USDC. And the leaks which they put out here are in their Telegram group. You can already see it. The logo here should be very familiar to many of you which is also the logo for example of Carol Finance. The currently I think best performing project in terms of returns on base so this is a bonding protocol where you pair your ETH with Carol and can get yield up to I think over 5% daily with all the bonuses you get on top and that's what they also posted over here in their telegram group so the dashboard will be looking very similar I'm not sure if it is a official partnership with Carol Finance or if they just fork it and build it here on the Binance Smart Chain this will most likely be announced within the next week here in their telegram chat so I'm very excited Decided to see what the outcome here in this case is. Last project I wanted to talk about is Furio and now you might want to say Felix why are you still talking about Furio? So there is a fact which is very important for all the people who are still invested in the project and that's the fact that the token price has stabilized since around the 26th of October. So we are slightly going sidewards or trending upwards here as you can see. And for all the people that still have a balance, for example, in the four pool, me included here in this case. So as you can see, I have still staked around 750 USDC over here and available rewards of 57 USDC. And most of us have duration limits. So these can go up to 150 days. In my case, it's 90 days. So I staked my initial amount. And every time you take an action over here, so you claim compound or for example, also sell your Furio tokens here, this timer will be reset and there will be a 90 days lock again. So I, for example, now just waited for 36 days because I want this balance to unlock after these 54 days went down. And because the Furio token is currently pretty stable, I think it's a good time to get your stake out of the platform because the developers quitted this project. They just basically handed it over to the community, made the contracts immutable. So there is still a lot of liquidity as you can also see here on deck screener over 600K, which we can withdraw from the smart contract. And again, I think it's a good time to withdraw the balance which is left over here in the full pool. That should do it on this summarized update on all those projects. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them below this video. Or you can, of course, also join our community Telegram group, which will be linked down in the description box. If you like today's video, it would be great if you can hit the like button. And if you don't want to miss future content, which I release almost on a daily basis here, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.